Guys and girls, I'm here again to show you a second option that you can try at home today. Um, and this could be something you try today or maybe you try a different day this week or even like on the weekend just to have some fun. So this is another way to do some printmaking with items you have at home. And so when you're printmaking, you are getting an image or a picture from another object by just by kind of pressing down on it, almost like stamping too. So the things that you need for this part would be a plastic bag. Can you see me? So this is a Ziploc bag. It doesn't have to be Ziploc, but it could be anything like this. A nice thick plastic. And then a piece of paper and some markers. Oops, markers. And usually the darker colors kind of work a little better for this. Um, and also it might be a little helpful to have some water nearby. Water and a paper towel okay so that's all you need to get started so i'm gonna put my camera down so that you can see some magic art magic okay here we go here's my plastic bag and my markers so first all i'm gonna do is just take my lid off and i'm gonna use the edge here and i'm just going real fast on there i want to get it well, uh, pretty quick because you want to keep it wet. I'm just going to put a couple different colors. It doesn't really, it's not a picture right now, but it's going to be something pretty cool when I'm done. You can cross some of the colors. You can blend them and see what happens. Mix the colors together. I don't want to mix all of them though because then it becomes kind of like a big muddy mess. Ooh, that's a nice one. Okay. So I have like four colors. I'm going to go back in there because I can see it's getting a little dry. You want to do it fast, 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 fast. Okay, I'm taking my paper and I'm going to lay it flat on top of here. And I'm going to press like I'm petting it. Pet, pet, pet. Smooth it out. I could take the side of my marker, holding my paper flat, and just spread that. Okay, so I'm making sure I'm pressing pretty hard all the way across. And I'm just going to take a little peek. Ooh, I see some colors on my paper. Look at that. I might try one more thing. And this is where the water and the paper, paper towel will come in handy. So I can take it. This one's a little dirty. And I'm just going to dip it in a little bit of the water. I don't want it dripping. If it's dripping like that, that's too much. So I'm going to squeeze it out. Oops. And I'm just going to hold my paper tight and spread that across just plain water this is going to help get the paper a little wet and make the marker come up a little more so again i'm just going to rub sideways all the way across okay now let's try that again and peel oh look at that that's cool okay so i'm not done though i'm going to do more I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna reuse it. So I'm gonna wipe this off, clean it. You can keep reusing this. If you don't have a plastic bag like this, you can also try the same thing on tin foil. So you can do the same. Either way works. Maybe now I'm going to try, hmm, what can I do? Let's try a different thing. I think I'll try different colors. Oh, maybe shapes. So now I'm going to draw a circle. Maybe I'll make it kind of like a polka dot. Okay, there's one. Oh, it looks like a donut. Mm. And I'm going to do another one over here. Do, do, do. Some smaller dots. It could be anything you want. You can make noises like me. I like to make noises when I'm working because I'm a silly person. All right, maybe I want to add another one or go like this. Some lines out there. Ooh, those are nice and dark. Okay, I could add. So I could get another paper for this or you could be like me and you can take the same paper and try to print right on top of it and see what happens as we add to it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press it on. 
And I'm going to do the same thing, holding it nice and tight. You see how I hold on to my paper so it doesn't move when I do this? Ooh, I can see the image is coming through. And my paper is still a little wet from before, so that's good. If you have a spray bottle, that works too. Spray it a little bit. So I got my paper towel a little wet again. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. And I squeezed it out, and I'm... Whoops. That's okay if there's a color coming through. It doesn't matter. This is the back. Oops. There we go. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm going to peel it up and reveal. Oh, it made a second layer on top. Do you see that? Those circles are on top of here. Very cool. Again, I can keep reusing this bag and I could do another one. I have a whole other piece of paper here. When I do this, I like to have a bunch of them nearby, a bunch of papers so that I can just add to it. What I really love about this technique is if you look closely, you can see all this cool different texture that it made. It almost looks like tree bark to me when you look at a tree trunk. So you can add to this. So maybe now I take a different color marker or I take a crayon and I add to it. Or maybe I take a pen, a black pen, and draw another design in there. This one's still a little wet, but I can add to it. So I could go right on top and make some other parts to my drawing and have so much fun with this. Ooh, very cool. And I can just keep adding. Maybe I want, oops, yeah, you can tell I'm having fun. Maybe I want to add some crayon on top. Add some more color. Ooh, make a pattern, make a pattern, make a pattern. All right. You remember that song? <laughs> We used to do that all the time. Okay, and I'm just drawing on top of it, making more beautiful designs. Okay, I can make some hearts, anything you want. And I cannot wait to see what creative designs you come up with and how beautiful your <clears throat> pictures are gonna be. Okay, so here's some crayon I'm adding. Just have fun. What can you do? Ooh, look at that. Bringing some of that color out in the background. You could turn this into a masterpiece. And that's what I can't wait to see what you do. So those are two different options you have today with printing. One, the first one I showed you was this. And that was with the cardboard, if you remember, and a crayon and a paper. So that's where you rub. Second one is with a plastic bag and then markers, okay, and a piece of paper. And then you're just spreading it on there, okay? So have fun. Give them both a try if you can. And show me what you make. Bye. I hope I see you soon.